Of course, I also need to show you the interior um, and especially the ESS. So we made the shift knob out of wood to have a really tactile human feel to it, actually enhancing the analog feel. The Swedish flag on top is something we had in the CC8S as well on our first production car. So it's a homage to that manual shifter. And then we're really celebrating the mechanical mechanism, which you can see through the gated uh, shifter grid. It's very exciting. Clutch is very natural feel with a hump, like a traditional clutch with the right uh, resistance. Not too heavy, of course, but this is really where it shines. So here we have the six gates forward. Then we have this side where we have reverse, neutral, and drive, nine speed, automatic. And you can jump out of that and you can jump into another gear. Of course, we restrict it from jumping into a too low gear if you're here, but otherwise you can just jump in and out. So it's very easy to operate, very tactile, very nice feedback, very exciting. The steering wheel is completely round. Again, to going back to that really analog feel, uh, like more of an old school sports car together with the analog Chrono Cluster 2 instrument, which is just a beautiful piece of handmade machine parts put together like a Swiss watch. Oh, yeah. so, yeah. Very exciting. You know that I got that, so yeah.